Hey, my fish friends, this your boy Boss, and we are back with another video. Today, I wanted to show you guys my 36 gallon bow front aquarium that is currently housing these two beautiful angelfish, who I hope is a pair of some too. And it's also housing black mollies if you can see down there these guys are super dark but there's tons of them hiding back under this beautiful centerpiece that I got here I recently picked up this tank from a gentleman off of the marketplace and he had this beautiful centerpiece and these beautiful angels which I hope turn out to be a pair that I can breed. I definitely did put a piece of slate rock in there just in case they do breed, but they haven't shown any activity of that at all. Currently right now it is planted. I'm not exactly sure what this plant is. I want to say it's water sprite, but I could be wrong. Um, but I know for sure this is hornwort. I just put this in here out of another tank. I just want to see how this light that I have sitting on this tank works. Because I personally never kept one of these high quality lights like this. I've always just kind of DIY lights. So I kind of want to just throw some plants in here and see what it does. I believe if anybody can let me know what that plan is here. I think it's some type of crypt, but it's starting to sprout up. And there is also some Java, not Java moss, some Java fern in here. And you can see back here on this piece of wood, there's some fern pieces up there also. And fern, it just grows very slow. And I had never really had much success with fern, but the simple plants like hornworth and I'm guessing this is like water sprite or it might be another hornworth just I'm not exactly sure but look how big this molly is pretty good size one healthy black and you barely can see them because it's like an all blackout tank it has a black painted background with the black substrate and so I recently fed them so it's kind of a little gunk down there and there's also these cool snails in here can anybody let me know in the comic section what these snails are i want to say they're rabbit snails but i'm not 100 percent sure i've been trying to do some research online to try to figure out what species of snails they are But currently with this tank, I wanted to ask you guys for some suggestions in the comment section. There is currently some fake plants in the background and they don't look bad. But do you guys think I should turn this into a fully planted tank and really make this tank look magical? Because I think that I kind of want to keep it at a communal. You can see another one's coming out. I kind of want to keep this a community tank of like fish that are like all black. I just think that'd be a cool little, some beautiful angels. I wish they would come out in the middle so we can see them. I'm gonna try to feed them. That's what we're gonna do. Oh, let's see, look. So we gotta open the top, they wanna come out. Let's feed them real quick, guys. Just gonna feed this some regular old flake food, nothing crazy. What I've noticed about these guys, they're not really heavy eaters. I used to have a pair of angels and they would eat and eat and eat. But these really ain't much of the eaters. 
They're not crazy eaters like that. None of these fish are. Oh, you see the other mallards and camel. They're kind of skittish. And I do heavy feed my tanks because I only feed them once a day. So they're kind of getting food early today. But it's just for the video. These guys look really good. I'm really enjoying these little Maui's. Cause when I first got it, it was just a big black one and these two angels. That was the only fish that came with this aquarium when I got it. And um, I went to the pet store and I decided to just pick up some more. And excuse the sound in the background, that's currently my furnace turning on. Hopefully it doesn't distort too much sound in the video. But you see the angels are out now and they're looking really good. are doing really good starting to grow in the roots we're starting to get some new roots so the underwater growth is actually starting to take right now and we have some new inhabitants in here these are texas baby texas cichlids I just picked these guys up. I see them and it was only for a dollar. I always wanted a Texas cichlid. So I'm like, I'll pick these guys up and throw them in the 60 gallon aquarium. Cause I needed a starter fish in here anyways to just to get the cycle going. And then I'm like, I always wanted a Texas cichlid. So I'm like, why not throw a Texas in here? And let them grow out in, in a couple months but I'm out a month or so, I'm gonna be picking up a pretty cool fish for this aquarium. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that because the fish that I decide that I'm gonna put in this aquarium is gonna be awesome. So you guys definitely don't wanna miss that. So make sure you guys like these videos and subscribe to the channel and turn on your post notification and hit that bell. So that way when I drop my videos, you guys can be notified. This is a new aquarium that is going to be coming to the channel very soon. We got some fern in here, some more little crips. That's triangle, they doing all way. They kind of dying back, but maybe they'll take. But I haven't decided on what fish I'm gonna be adding to this. This is a 36 gallon bow front also with a canister filter on it. It's pretty awesome, just need to top it off. But I have some really cool ideas about this tank. So you guys gotta make sure you stay tuned, man. So I hope you enjoyed my video today. Like and subscribe. I'll holler.